Hi YouTube. Um, what am I going to talk about tonight? Right, well, first thing I'm going to say hello to a few people. I'm going to say hi to Joseph, hi to Graham, hi to all my friends on Facebook, all my friends on Transspace, which is a fantastic site, and anybody under the transgender spectrum. Um, I urge you to go over there, log on, join, have a look, say hi to Pam, hi to Sandra, even hi to me and um, you'll make lots of new wonderful friends there's no this um there's no trolls as we call them um there's nobody lurking in the background that's just there to get their jollies so it's a really wonderful place it's just pure friendship we have a bit of a laugh in the chat room lots of different sub chat rooms it, yeah it's a really cool place post your pictures vlogs etc a bit like my space, but uh, it's more for us girls than boys like us. So, anyway, that's trans space. And the reason that I'm here is I want to talk about love. Now, what can I say about love? Love is um, a word. At the end of the day, love is a feeling in here. Love is something I do far too easily, I just fall. Um, but I think, as Blues Brothers said, um, everybody needs somebody to love. And it's very true. And life's very lonely without it. And life's very lonely without anybody in your life. But there you go, some of us are. Um, I want to talk particularly about guys that have come on to girls like her. Now, obviously I'm post, I'm pre-op. Um, some girls like me obviously post-op. Now when I'm post-op, I don't want to sort of have to tell anybody or go down the route of, of um, who I used to be. I want to get my past and get on with my life and enjoy it. I want to find somebody that will accept me for who I am. Obviously they will know my past because I'm not going to deceive them. But if they love me and they want to be with me then that past shouldn't bother them. But there's lots of guys that hover between really, really liking pre-op transsexuals and really, really wanting to get jiggy with them, I guess. Best way of putting it. Now, I'm not that kind of girl. I don't do that. Um, I won't get jiggy, as I put it, or as they put it, or as whoever put it, until I'm post up and I'm recovered and I'm ready. So, any guys that come into my life that want me purely to answer to their homoerotic fantasies of sleeping with another, dare I say it, male, um, who can be swaying multiple female sides, um, it's not going to happen with me, there's no, 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 nothing manly about me anymore anyway, um, maybe my voice at times, but I'm working on that. And it's quite sick and sad that there are guys out there that literally just look for girls like me. But as soon as I've had my op, they'll go and look for other girls that are still pre-op. I can't get my head around that. So that's that's what we have to battle, that's what transsexuals have to put up with. We have to put up with being come on to by guys who like us because we sort of answer that missing link between male and female and they really, really define that sexy. Doesn't do it for me, I'm afraid. Um, I like a nice guy. I really would like a nice, loving, caring, Okay, good looking boyfriend um, who will love me and accept me for who I am and what I am. 
but won't dwell on the fact of what I am, and it is they come into my life before my operation, they have to accept the fact that there's no jizzy time on my face. So, um, there's more to life than sex, if I say. So, like I say, love's a, a funny thing, and we all deserve to be happy. And I hope that all of you out there, and I hope that myself as well eventually, we all find that right place in our lives that we want to be with. Um, I've been hurt a few times now by a few different guys um, that hasn't got me for me. Um, and it's not going to sway me towards girls either because I don't. It just doesn't do that for me, I'm afraid. No offence to any girls out there, no offence to any lesbians out there, no offence to any transsexuals who are post op, pre op, etc. But for women, it's just not me. Um, so if there's any guys out there that really like what they see, get in touch. No, I'm joking. Um, uh, well, I'm not, but I am. Kind of. Ish. Well, yeah, feel free to get in touch. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Um, apart from, um, in my gravestone, that one. Um, I um, um, uh, so yeah, um, I just wanted to share that with you. I, I know it's complete rubbish, and I know that a lot of you think, oh, you're, you're, you're. but that's me. Um, I'm not boring. Um, I'm just running out of things to say. So, as I was saying, sort of hi to everybody that knows me. Love to you all. Sorry, it's a bit of an odd one, but it's just when you get something on your mind, you need to get it off. And when you've been hurt, as I have been hurt by various different males, um, it plays on your mind a little bit. And you know, I get quite cold-hearted, I guess, and quite bitter about it, but. The amount of times I've been kicked in my face and kicked in the teeth by different people when it comes to love um, is, is coming into double figures now and obviously that's not all since transition, that's, you know, that's pre-transition but I'm learning the hard way and what doesn't break us down makes us stronger or something to that effect. So I am getting stronger, I've, but I've got a new lease for life. I've got some wonderful, wonderful friends, and I've got a wonderful little boy who I love dearly, and he's the apple of my eye. And at the moment, there's two people in my life, and that's me and my little boy. And um, don't be scared of fellas, that doesn't mean that I'm going to turn you away or not be interested, it just means that you have to accept that I've got a little boy who is the apple of my eye and he does come very high in my priority. So that has to be bared in mind. If anybody wants to um, be in my life, they have to be in my son's life as well. So I guess I'm sort of scaring people off and like a complete psycho bitch, but there you go, that's me. Um, I'm just being honest. Heart and sleeve and all that. So, take care everyone. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Sky Blue's drew today, so we're quite happy about that. A bit disappointed because it's the most difficult team in the championship, but never mind. Point to point, we're still heading to the playoffs, so it's great. So, have a nice weekend everyone, and I'm going to have a glass of wine now and sit and watch casualties probably. And uh, just cuddle up on the sofa. So, bye bye everyone. Take care. Peace.